Hey, good morning, friends. Uh, just a quick message this morning while we're on our way to work. Um, you know, <clears throat> I just want to encourage you this morning to do your best against the sin in the world. That's right. Bringing it up again. New day, new start. Just a wonderful, glorious day. Some sunshine. And uh, it's just amazing, you know. It's just amazing. A, a new day to start new. I want to tell you, I want to tell you that <clears throat> you can start fresh today. And for those of you who have been struggling against sin, you know, and, and, I'm, not, and I'm not referring particularly to those who do not struggle against sin. There are some who don't even think once about the sin in their life. There are some who do not care. They make no effort. For those of you who make no effort, you know who you are. Um, you know, you, you, you'll, you'll continue to live in sin and you don't even think about it. And you have no intention to drop the sin. You have no intention. And those, are, those of you need to check your hearts and you need to check your intentions and where you are with God because, you know, time, time's flying by, guys. And, and the days we live in, you need to be thinking about this very, very, you know, deeply. But there are many of you out there who, uh, you know, you struggle with sin. And you struggle with it because you have the Holy Spirit in you who, who rebukes you. And, and you know what I mean. You know, you, you, you get this deep, deep guilt and this deep sorrow. And, you know, you, you cry out to God to forgive you and to help you and to stand next to you and to strengthen you. And, and many of you don't know why you keep falling into sin. But, my friends, those of you who feel that, that is, that is the Holy Spirit working in your life, rebuking you. You know, the, the Lord chastises those whom He loves. And He loves you too much to, to see you living in filth. Okay? So, you know, listen, listen to that gentle word in your heart. Strengthen yourself this morning. Strengthen yourself and, and feel God's love. Feel His endurance. Clear your mind from every evil thing, every filthy thing. Ask the Lord this second to kind of to just to, to bless your life, to bless your mind. You know, there's nothing good about us. Our minds are full of evil and corruption. Our hearts are in the wrong place. And, and it just takes a minute to stop and, and reboot reboot ourselves and say, hey, Lord, enter and help me, guide me, strengthen me. Let this day be different. Let me start new. Let me start fresh with Christmas coming and the new year coming. Let me start now and, and just make my life right. Because guys, you know, again, it's those of you who, who, who strive against sin, those of you who make the effort, those of you who, and that's not to say that those of you who make no effort shouldn't start making effort. That's clear. That's a whole different message. But there are those of you who live in sorrow, live in, in, in just, why? Why sin again? Why do it again? You know the, the amazing feeling to be free from sin, to be, to be in a good relationship with the Lord. Let's live that way. Let's, uh, you know, just be strengthened this day, friends. Be strengthened, okay? And, uh, and, and listen to the Holy Spirit who dwells in you, who's, who's, who can strengthen you. Uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to fall into any sin today. Uh, we, you know, we're, we're not perfect. We're not without sin. But you don't have to fall into sin this day. And you take it day by day. All right? Be strengthened. Um, you remember, you know, we, we have to love one another. And, and friends, I love you. And I want you to, um, you know, be encouraged. But not by me. Be encouraged by the love of the Lord in your life. Have that relationship. Your day will go so much more wonderfully. <laughs> God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.